everyone and today I'm making a video on the supplies you need like in the tank for hermit crabs so let's get started. The first thing that's super important for hermit crabs is water. For hermit crabs you're gonna need salt and fresh water. And I have three water dishes, my big salt, my small salt water, and my fresh water dish. Um, you can have whatever types of water dishes you want. Just you need to make sure you have salt and fresh water. Here's my salt water and here's my fresh water. And I made a video on how you can make those. So you can go check that video out if you don't know how to make salt and fresh water. And you can have shallow water dishes, tall ones, whatever you want. I just have three because I have my fresh water, which it is pretty small, but just my hermit crabs just don't care that much. And then I have my big salt water, and that's in case, I don't know, I guess if they need lots of salt water or something. And then I have a small salt water because I have some really teeny tiny crabs and some really big crabs. So I just want to give the big crabs a bigger salt water dish and the small crabs a smaller one. Next thing you're going to need is a food dish and you can use like whatever food dish you want as long as it's safe i don't really recommend painted ones but that's just the food dish i have and i'm soon trying to get one of those as a food dish but just you can use whatever food dish you want um you can use like these as food dishes you can even get a big food dish like that one just um in my opinion i like to have a food dish because otherwise then my hermit crabs are gonna like bury the food inside of the eco earth and stuff and then it gets all moldy and i just like to keep in here because in case it gets all old or something i can just dump it out and i don't have to worry about like their whole tank getting mold or something um the next supply you're gonna need is obviously food um the hermit crab association that's like my favorite website in the world they have a safe food list and here i just have some almonds you can like crush up almonds, I just have some almonds here, and you can give them some fruits and vegetables. Again, just research and make sure they're safe, and make sure you get your information from a reliable website, because some websites don't really know st some stuff about hermit crabs, and there's actually some things that are fatal to hermit crabs. So before you feed them stuff, just research, research, research. Okay, so the next important thing is shells, and I'm sorry, the audio, like, cut out again, so now I have to retake this part. So you want lots of types of shells for your crab, and let's say your shell, like, let's say you have a crab that's in a blue shell, and your shell's kind of, like, shaped like a circle or something, you're gonna want to get them, um, about two more shells that are shaped the same, like, two more shells are shaped like a circle, because, like, that's the hermit crab's body type, I guess you could say. And so then, like, you want to try and get the same type of shell. And for each crab, you're going to want at least two shells for them to switch into. And I have lots of shells. And you can just scatter shells around or put them in a basket or something. It doesn't matter. And just make sure never to use painted shells. And, yeah. So if you want, you can get, like, it's, like, called a shower caddy or something. You can get like a little bin and fill it with shells. I just like to have mine like plain out, like just plain out in the open. But you can put your shells wherever you want. You can even hide them around your cage. And just make sure you have lots of shells for them to choose. Okay, I'm sorry for the bad lighting, but the next thing you're going to want to get is um substrate. And here I'm trying to show my eco or substrate, but it's really bad lighting. But you can use like eco earth or sand, and those are the two best ones, and I have both in my tank. And you're going to want to have at least like four or so inches, and I know it's really hard to see, but I have like lots of eco earth, and that's so your crab can molt. And never get gravel or something because that's really bad for the crabs. I recommend eco earth or sand or both. And next thing you're going to want to get is a heat mat, and I have mine on the outside of the tank. But this is super important because they come from tropical areas and need around 80 degrees or so um, of heat. And you're also, along with this, you're going to want to get a thermometer 
and pry humidity gauge so that way you make sure that you have everything right. I just have a little zoom in one on the wall and that's so I can make sure my tank has the right humidity and also, guys I just wanted to add in put your heat mat on the side I'm trying to video my heat mat I know it's really bad quality right now but put it on the side because hermit crabs burrow down to get away from the heat and so let's say your heat mat's on the bottom then they're going to just like fry themselves up and it's really bad so just put it on the side and just put it around like the middle of the tank on the side and that will so be So the good. next thing you're going to want to get is decorations. I don't think these are super important but I really recommend them because they make your hermit crab feel like it's in a natural environment and stuff. You can get live plants I think. I only have plastic plants because I'm not good at all at taking care of plants. And you can get whatever plants you want. I just have like some bush plants and a spiky plant and random plants. That just makes them feel like they're safe and secure. And it makes them feel like they're in a little bit more of like a natural habitat rather than having like a plain open cage. You're also going to want to get hideouts. Um, in my opinion, I think you should have one hideout per crab. And I love coconut hideouts. Like I made this one and this is a plastic one because they're great and they love hiding in them. You don't really need the, these as like an essential thing, but I really love climby things. So you can get like a little log like the one I have here, or you can get like a little craft net. I forgot what they're called, but they're like little nets and you just hang them on the wall and crabs can climb on them. And it makes them feel like they're in a more natural environment. And then the last thing you're going to need is obviously a tank. In my opinion, the um, like the size of the tank is around five gallons per cra crab. And here I think I have four, yeah, I have four crabs right now. And this is a 20 gallon long tank. You can get like a higher tank if you want, but hermit crabs, um, I don't think they climb as much as they walk around. So I like the long tanks. And you can get these about anywhere. And I really like this one because um, it's just a 20 gallon long tank and it only cost around 30 bucks and some fish tanks are like 20 gallon longs but if you buy like a fish tank it might cost more like if it comes with a filter and stuff so I really like these and so that's pretty much it for this short video and hope you enjoy and bye so I know I keep on adding more stuff but I just need to add this in make sure to get like a fish tank or something that's glass so the humidity can't escape just spray your crabs every day or so. Make sure they have around 70% to 80% humidity. But um, just make sure not to get a mesh cage or something like that because then all the humidity can escape and then your hermit crab will be suffocating and it's really bad. And also you can get like a mesh lid, just cover it with a towel. And so I'm sorry I had to have this part on, but that's pretty much it. So thanks for watching and bye.